Hi, fifth grade. I hope everybody is doing great. Uh, last week, we talked about what a sketch or a study was. This week, we're going to continue talking about drawings and sketches. Uh, but instead of focusing on just the face, we're going to talk about the whole human body. And uh, we talked last time or the time before, I believe it was, about the proportions in a human face. And we used a chart that looked a little bit like this. Today, we're going to talk about figure proportions, so the proportions of an entire person's body. And we're going to look right here at this chart, which shows that um, your average person about your age is about seven heads tall. And we can use the, these proportions to make sure that we get our, um, our body the, the right size or in the right proportion. Okay, so artists observe the way that people sit and stand and move. Uh, this artist, Mary Cassatt, she made artwork showing women in daily life, such as the, um, the painting here. Uh, in this uh, print, actually, it's not a painting, uh, she posed her models in front of a mirror so that she could show more than one view of the person. This is called the fitting. So the woman is trying on a new dress, and the woman down below is altering or like hemming the bottom of the dress. Um, if we take a look at this artist who also did a lot of work involving the figure. This is uh, Degas. Uh, he made many, many sketches of dances and rehearsals as they warmed up for performances. And he would very, very quickly sketch the position and the placement of the arms and the legs like you see in uh, this sketch here. So uh, we're going to today look for lines that show action and pay attention to our figure proportions or the relation between one body part to the rest of the body parts, like we looked at in that chart again, and I'll put that up so you can see it. Um, although people vary in size, they're usually alike in their proportions. Okay, so let's take a look at this student artwork. Uh, we're going to use uh, drawings of the figure. We're going to overlap one on top of the other. Now, this is a sixth grade work of art, and I know you're in fifth grade, so this student has a whole year on you. Uh, but basically, what we're going to do today is do some contour drawings that overlap each other. So we'll draw the figure a couple of times, but almost like we're going to draw the silhouette. What you do inside, you can add details like this person did when we have the face and the clothes you can fill them abstractly with color or lines and shapes. We're going to need today a pencil, um, your sketchbook, and if you have markers, that may not be a bad idea for this project, but you could also use your color pencils. Go ahead and get your stuff and come on back. Okay, fifth grade, before we start, I'm going to put up a little reference for you. And these are just figures that are moving. They kind of look like stick figures, but they're a little more detailed than your average stick figure. And their proportions are correct, whereas a stick figure, the proportions are not always correct. So I'm going to start off by drawing the guy. For me, I'm going to do the one in the upper left-hand corner. You can do whichever one you'd like. Starting off with the head, this is going to be my largest figure, which is why I'm drawing it um, in the foreground. So it'll be the closest one to us. Um, I'm then going to come down. This is kind of like the spine. And then I'm going to make another line for the hip area. And from there, I'm going to come out where the shoulders would be. And I'm going to draw kind of like the another rectangular shape here, almost like the rib cage. Okay. And then this arm comes out and comes back in. And we have like a little shape for the hand here. And this arm, it looks like he is scratching or holding the head. Okay, now we're going to come in after this and add like the muscle and the skin to the bones. Okay, so now that I have kind of like this stick figure done, I'm going to come in now with a little bit of a darker line and I'm just doing a contour line drawing over this. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to add an arm, I'm going to come in and add the waist and the hips. I'm going to add this arm 
and this hand on top of the head and then drop the hip down come back up and down for the legs again now this kind of skeleton that we've made I can get rid of I really don't need that little skeleton frame anymore now you can leave your person empty um, for now and come back and add detail later uh, but this is a good time to really kind of look at the proportions uh, and see what you have to fix uh, what's not quite right like I can kind of tell that this head is just way too big so I would probably come in and and fix that a little bit a little too big on this side too okay and then I'm gonna move on to my second figure so my second figure is gonna be behind this figure so maybe this person is a little bit smaller and maybe you have another one behind that so I'm gonna overlap the figures now I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing <laughs> my completed drawing I'm calling this alien fashion show because <laughs> my people have some little bit of like leg issues going on to look too human and their heads are very large I guess I draw people with large heads so I just kind of went with it and colored them all one color remember you can do whatever you want to the inside of your people if you want to add uh, the details of their clothes and their face and their hair you can do that you can fill them with different patterns whatever you would like to do all you need to make sure is that you're trying to draw figures in proportion and that they're overlapping. Just looking to see that you know how to do that today. This actually gives me some Keith Haring vibes. Let me put up uh, one of his paintings real quick so you can see. And you'll see why I'm saying that. It looks a little like a Keith Haring a bit. Um, remember that as things move away from you, they get smaller. So if something's up close, like my hand is the closest thing to the camera, it looks huge, like the biggest thing in the room. As it moves back, it gets smaller. So that's why my people are the largest when they're close and as they move away they get smaller and this little purple guy in the background is very very teeny tiny looking forward to seeing what you come up with be creative and i will see you guys next week mm -hmm.